Yo, what is up YouTube? Happy New Year everyone, Happy New Year to all the Gooners out there. We are still top of the league and seven points clear of Man City in second, so after a great result uh, against Brighton yesterday, just going to do a little post-match review. It was Brighton 2, Arsenal 4. So yeah, in my preview I said uh, that Arsenal would win 2-1, it was double that in fact, 4-2. So yeah, what a game, what a start. 60 seconds in, uh, you know, we're, we're basically in their box. We lose the ball, they're trying to break. And then Thomas Partey, absolute defensive midfielder beast. He, uh, he tackles, tackles the Brighton player, he passes his out wide. And then uh, Martinelli tries to cut inside, have a little uh, curl it in, shot, it gets blocked, gets knocked into Bukayo Saka. Unbelievable touch to keep it uh, in the air and then it drops down on the half volley bang left foot goal straight away 60 seconds 1-0 up 1-0 to the Arsenal and what a start to uh, what a start to the game and that just set the tone for it in the first half we completely dominated and then not too long after that uh, we had a corner and then Martin Odegaard who uh, could easily have been man of the match performance incredible He's, uh, he's on incredible form right now. You know, Saka's scored uh, seven goals. And then Odegaard from the corner on the, like, the half volley again. He kind of hits it into the ground, kind of ozil -esque. It goes into the right corner, and that's 2-0 to the Arsenal. And, uh, yeah, we're just cruising in the first half. And we go up 2-0 up in the, in the first half, going into the second. So, yeah, we start the second half. And it looks like... Uh, Brighton are trying to come back into it a bit, but uh, we end up breaking. And then uh, Eddie and Katia, where he scored uh, tw twice now in two games, a great poacher's goal. He was there in the box, you know. Uh, the keeper, he, he spilled it, and uh, he had a he had a shocking game. To be fair, the Brighton keeper, but yeah, Eddie was there in the right position, uh, proper striker's goal, and yeah, he was there to tap it in after the keeper spilled it. So that's. Uh, that's basically 3-1, 3-0 to the Arsenal. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that, to be honest, completely honest. I thought, you know, Brighton away is going to be a, an extremely tough game. They've been our bogey team as of late. Uh, so yeah, to uh, go 3-0 up away from home, is uh, it was more than I ever expected. So, But then after that, uh, Brighton, to be fair to them, credit to them, they, uh, they fought back in the game and uh, they... They, they're really good at uh, passing. That's, uh, that's their uh, philosophy, really. So they passed it around, little triangles, and then they found a, a substitute who came on, and he uh, passed it into the right-hand corner of the goal, make it 3-1. And, of course, that gave him the belief to fight back a bit, and uh, it ended up being, uh, I think it was 3-2. Three, three, and then because uh, uh, another substitute, I think it was named Ferguson, came on, it was a mistake by Saliba, kind of bounced off him. And then uh, credit to Ferguson or whatever, he kind of muscled him off the ball. And then he nutmegged Ramsdale, kind of went right under him. So Ramsdale was angry about that. And then it's 3-2. And then we're like, oh, oh no. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it was 4-1 four, four, or 4-2. Four, I'm trying to remember exactly now. But basically they scored, they scored the second goal. And then uh, the crowd's getting worried. But then... To be fair, no, actually, even before that, it was 3-1, and then, um, yeah, they, it looked like they were they were attacking, but then, again, we break we break the play up again, and this was, uh, yeah, it goes out wide to Shaka, and then he passes it back in the midfield to Erdegaard, who looks around the corner, first time pass to Martinelli down the wing, he outpaces uh, Lamptey, and, uh, you know... Bakayo Saka is just clear in the middle, easy uh, square and just tap in. But Martinelli, he uh, he wanted to be selfish. He wanted to put the ball in the net on his own, wanted his own goal, and uh, yeah, he scored. Luckily enough, the keeper had a shocker, went right through him. Because yeah, if he missed that, Saka would have been pretty pissed off, I'm sure. But yeah, so now we've got Saka on seven goals, got Odegaard seven goals, and Martinelli on seven goals. A great little competition going on. It's a big change from when we used to just rely on Aubameyang for the goals now. And just wait till we get Smith Rowe back in the midfield, adding goals as well. Coming off the bench to uh, compliment Erdegaard, who's playing uh, the best football of his life right now. He's on complete uh, best form. 
So yeah, I think it was actually uh, we made it four one, and then they I think then they equalised and made it made it four two, and then and then uh, they actually made it four three, but uh, luckily enough uh, VAR ruled it outside. There was just like a trading leg that was uh, in the in the build up play. So luckily enough, uh, because if it was four three, then uh, would have got really really worried. So uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, 4-2 to the Arsenal in the end, a great result for the Gooners to start the new year and uh, yeah, going to 2023, believing uh, we can actually win this league, you know, seven points clear of Man City, you know, we play Newcastle on Tuesday at home, you know, they drew 0-0, you know, credit to Everton who came back 1-0 down uh, away at City, Damari Gray with an incredible goal, so yeah. Thank you very much for that, to make it 1-1 and uh, draw, to limit them to one point. You know, Haaland uh, was really up for it that game. He was pissed off, so that's what we got to do. we got to uh, just keep grinding out these results, keeping the pressure up, keeping those points on the board. Seven points on top now, so yeah, it's a great start to uh, 2023, and uh, we can start actually believing. You know, January transfer window's open now. This is the time to actually strengthen the squad and uh, really believe. Uh, why not? You know, we haven't challenged. We haven't won the league since 2003, 2004, invincible season. So this is our this is our chance. You know, we we got to strengthen the squad. You know, uh, Shakhtar they want like 80 or 85 million for this Mud Mudrich guy. I'm not. I'm pretty sure. we we're, we're not going to pay that much. We're trying to like uh, bargain it down a bit. Might go for like 70, 75. But who knows? I don't even know if we need another winger, to be honest, but uh, it seems like this is the main guy we're talking about. I feel like I've been talking about this. We need a striker more, more so, even though Eddie's in doing two and two, credit to him. You know, if he gets injured, then what? You know, just Martinelli up front and then uh, someone else on the wing. But uh, these are good problems to have and think about and uh, keep strengthening the squad. So, yeah. Happy New Year, all you Gooners. We go into uh, Newcastle on Tuesday at home, and let's keep it up.